Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to today's Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. I am your host and pilot, as always, Uncle B. Today we're on Route 5, or Leg 5, not Route 5, Leg 5, of our trip along uh, Route 66 here. We're taking off from Joplin, Missouri, here at the Joplin Regional Airport, and we're going to head on down this way to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, it's saying it's about an hour and a half flight, 90 nautical miles. We're in the low and slow kit, Fox. That one right there. Put some auto drab on there. Um, I'll put in the link to the uh, Route 66 historic uh, website sort of stuff. and You can zoom in and, and see the, uh, the actual route over the years that took it, went from Joplin down to Tulsa. As always, in many of these rural areas, it was multiple layouts. You know, it changed a lot over the years. Now, one of the things I noticed as I was putting this up, um, making the route for today, there's a town called Miami here. <laughs> Good morning, Mick. Good morning, Joseph. Uh, which I thought was kind of odd. You have, I don't, I don't know if this is in Oklahoma or if this is in uh, Missouri, but you could tell people you're from Miami. Oh, you're from Miami. How's the beach? Oh, it's it's terrific. And, and they wouldn't know that you're actually from Miami in the Midwest. <laughs> so uh, they even have a little airport here, North Miami or Miami Municipal. And they and then there's a little town up here, North Miami. Yeah, kind of crazy that uh, that this there's this town called Miami here. But I just I saw that. Oh, you know what? Let's pass over that. I just saw that. We'll pass over uh, the um, seven, 70 Oak Old 66 Strip. Ah, so it must have been right near where the old Route 66 is, but we'll do that. Uh, boy, I thought, I thought Joseph was stalking me. He's stalking you now, Mick. <laughs> I, I'm... I'm keeping an eye on you, mister. I see you on the farm. <laughs> Here's Joseph. <laughs> oh, Addies. Anyway, uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to head over to this uh, uh, Vortac, I believe. Yep, Vortac right here. And the great thing is once we intercept that, we're going to... We're just going to turn on in, and we should be. We'll go straight in on runway two six here in, in uh, Tulsa. So should be a good good flight. Matter of fact, let me. I just want to see something. Because I, when I was looking at the layout of of Joplin, uh, the runway that I, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute, since we got time. Uh, Okay, so that, that one exists. All right, so runway 26 is still there. But when I was looking at the layout of Joplin, right, the runway we're taking off from exists. This runway on this way exists. This one no longer exists. And um, so I don't know how long it's been closed off. Uh I am, and I got Rob. Oh, oh, wow. A new harvester. I might have to pop in and check that out. <laughs> After we get done with the flight, I might have to see. Might have to give it a spin. Um, but yeah, um, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, I just kind of thought that was odd that this air, this runway, according to the sim, is still open but if you look at the charts and everything otherwise it's closed it's not you're, you're not supposed to use it so i don't know we may have a look when we take off we'll see if we have those big x's on the runway that, that signif uh, you know says that this runway is closed off but i don't know we'll see when we take off we'll adjust the time a little bit um once we're spawned in on runway 18 to for departure um let's see what else yeah so we got that for today uh should be a nice little flight uh we'll get up to about 2,000 feet and we'll just kind of cruise on down uh down the way and 
um, pass over this interesting sounding airport or a little airstrip there not an airport but a little airstrip looks like it's a farming mainly for farmers for like uh, a pesticide spraying or something like that um, so yeah just thought I just saw that so I figured we'll, we'll fly over that as well so um, any anyway, oh let me do let me do this and let me do this and let me link this there we go i don't know Addies. i mean if mick's still on when i'm done flying if if he's got the thing open i i can but that's up to him i can't i can't force my way onto the farm if unless he's he's there and he may have other things to do today but anyway um so uh yeah we'll wait a few more minutes um yeah i really enjoyed last night mick it was a lot of fun i i uh it was nice to be back on the farm and just get some stuff done get you some money and uh, obviously you made some money if you bought me a new harvester <laughs> so uh good stuff yeah i like it um yeah it was a lot of fun Really enjoyed that. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get back to that more often. And because you know it just it tickles fan uh, Addie's fancy when we're on the farm because he 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 likes to be the farm director. <laughs> He's sitting in his armchair. Mick, you should be doing this. I'm telling you, <laughs> don't buy Rob a new harvester. He doesn't deserve it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Or, or tell me I'm working too fast. There's no such thing as working too fast. We only got so much time, Addies. You know, we're trying to make the most of it. So, there's a lot of stuff to do. Because there's, there's more, now there's way more things on Mick's farm. That's for sure. Compared to before. You know, where, where he's expanding. So, a lot to get done. So, try to make the most of it. Um... So anyway, yeah, tomorrow we'll be in the A319 departing from Monterey uh, Peninsula Airport, heading down to LAX. Uh, should be about an hour-ish long flight. Um, we'll take off and climb out, and then we'll head south along the coast there. And then before we know it, we'll be coming in for landing at LAX, put it on the ground. Saturday, we'll be back at the Kit Fox. The Probably the low and slow will fly along the... Um, the uh, Montana Glacier Park area, um, so that should be nice. And then we'll hop over into the M346 Master, the new Italian jet trainer. That's like a little Italian sports car. I tell you, I took it out for a little spin last night in San Francisco, and I was able to get underneath the um, San Francisco Bay Bridge and uh, the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Still a little bit of a bump. Uh, you know, it seemed like the the area narrowed between the water and the bottom of the bridge. Um, but it, I think it'll work just fine. We'll, we'll head over to Lisbon. We'll take off. We'll, we'll have a nice little flight along, pass under a couple of bridges, come back under them again, and we'll land it, and we'll call it a day for Saturday. So, uh, oh, I actually, oh, I wish I had streamed it because Bex probably would have freaked out. I, I flew upside down in the m346 over san francisco with like the city part <laughs> i was like let me just it, it, it's actually pretty stable like i was surprised i didn't have to do a lot to keep it keep it from falling apart or you know suddenly nosing over and diving for the ground it was it was a lot of fun so i was like oh if, if bex had seen that she would have been like <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get uh, get in here and get things set up. Not a lot to set up. We won't add a lot of. We don't need to add any fuel. We're well within the range of the the limits of the tanks on the aircraft here. Um, we'll we'll look again when when I spawn in, but I think we'll be fine. Otherwise, um, so let's uh, 
let's go in here and get everything going we'll adjust the time accordingly so it's a nice morning flight no clouds should be just pretty much clear weather so yeah that's a new that's a new screen oh interesting All right, so let's get uh, so set. I just need to. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's get that set. So we'll we'll catch up on our heading as soon as we're up in the air. We'll. We'll dial that in and follow that. And we'll dial in a little bit of altitude as well. Oh, I got to adjust the time. That's what I want to do first before I forget. Oh, look at that. That's, that's good about right there. I like it. All right, altitude, altitude. Bit of vertical speed. Uh, I think about 500. That should do just fine for for starters. And uh, let's see. Make sure, we've got our camping gear in case we crash. We can camp out. All right. Our altimeter should be set. Should be right where was it? Oh. Uh, we gotta we gotta zoom our map out just a bit. Oh well, that's all right. Okay, um, I'll wait a few more minutes just in case. We got plenty of runway. Shouldn't take us long to get up in the air and start making our way down the down to Tulsa. The sun will be coming up. like yeah yeah i really enjoyed last night that was a lot of fun good laughs i was not expecting to be heard over the uh on the uh stream <laughs> i was a bit uh i was like oh uh -huh. okay <laughs> What do you reckon? You think we should fly with it open? I don't think we should. But it's an option. Passenger door opens as well. Nice. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody changed something. Uh, 
Oh well, at least at least a couple of people had a good laugh. All right. Uh, I'll wait another minute or two, and then we'll get going. We'll wait for the sun to come up just a tad bit more. My airline pilot looks a little out of place there in the Kit Fox, but oh well. Hmm. Uh, it always messes with settings, so gotta go through them all again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, Joseph. I know. That's why I was like, I was shocked, because normally m when Mick and I and anybody else in the Discord chat are talking, nobody can hear us. You know, we just can get on, and, and that way we're not talking over, you know, Mick can hear us of, you know, this field's done, where do you want me to go next, kind of thing. But um, that's all good. All right, I think we can go ahead and go. Let's get in the air here. See my, look at that, we're already up in the air and I didn't even have to pull back on the stick. Flaps up. Yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you had a had a laugh there, Addies. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get our autopilot on. Wait a minute, why is it not climbing? Hold up a second. Alright, it has altitude hold on, that's why. Okay, that's fine. And then heading mode. And, uh... There we go. Maybe just a little bit more in the heading. There we go. Other way, other way. We'll be back in the chat in just a second, folks. Let me just get us on our way here. There we go. All right. No, we should be cooking with Crisco. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was it was fun. I just had to I had to change my uh, my shtick since I was going to be on the uh, voice chat. <laughs> I had to behave, otherwise I get get some uh, unpleasant messages. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Sunrise flight there. 
you in Joplin, Missouri. football field there. It's like a high school. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we got that. Saturday we're doing that. Uh, his... Uh, about scenic flight. I almost said historic flight. And I'm like, no, no, no. It's not a historic flight. It's a scenic flight. Um, so, um, yeah, should be good. Good couple of flights tomorrow and Saturday. Back in the Junkers 52 on Monday. Our next leg across America. Take off from Clearwater. We're heading to Dothan, Alabama. Dothan. D-O-T-H-A-N. Dothan. We have a lot more to do. It's all on... Uh, yeah. We got time for shenanigans. I'm checking to see if Addie's has gone to the shop or not. Because <laughs> you know, chances are he did anyway. I've been through Oklahoma City. I don't know if I've been through Joplin, Missouri, but I have been through Oklahoma City before. Where we're headed towards. Our, that'll be the next lake from Tulsa to Oklahoma City. Um, yeah, I know, Joseph. We got you. No, we're talking about <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> oh, Lordy. We're talking about how you dis you go to the shop. You don't, you know, we're talking to you, and then all of a sudden you don't answer back. Or you must have gone to the shop. And then you come back. I'm back. I didn't even know you left. <laughs> We don't have time to check on you. You know, we, we got we got stuff to do. We got, got farming to get done. It's like you went downstairs and I'm gonna bring these glasses downstairs. So everybody's like, okay. All this time goes by, what happened to Joseph? Sure enough, Joseph went to the shop. <laughs> Everybody's like, did he get lost going downstairs to put the bring the glasses downstairs? <laughs> oh boy. Did you go to that dodgy McDonald's again today for lunch, Joseph, or did you get it sorted earlier and you're not you're fine? Son, you're okay for now. Okay, so you you skipped the dodgy uh, McDonald's today, then. That's good. We don't want you to worry about getting your phone nicked. Some questionable characters. Why does it seem like we're it says we're flying over an airport. It's like my thing is stuck. This one's not moving. Oh, something's not right.
Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why it's not. Huh. Okay, well. As long as we're heading, we got, uh... Is that even moving? No. Alright, well... <laughs> okay. That's terrific. I don't know why this is not working, but... Yeah, my... My screens are not working. Huh. It says we've been flying, but... Huh. Okay. I wonder if I hit a knob or something that I shouldn't have used. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there's that. All right, there we go. Now all the information's there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Much, not much to see here in the Midwest. A lot of farming and probably hunting and fishing through here. I don't know what river this might be or what waterway this might be. That maybe you can go fishing there, but it looks like a lot of farmland here. Pretty flat, looks like. Not, not very. Maybe a little bit of a low rise there behind us, but yeah, pretty. Uh, I could imagine in the winters if you're out here, because uh, there's not much to block the wind. The wind chill factor must be insane. Is that showing this map is completely frozen though okay interesting huh I don't know where that is ooh look at the tire ooh look at that tire that's fancy Ford pilot Oh, I forgot. Over here you can... Let's show a passenger now. No. Oh, there we go. There's a passenger. But there's also, I think it'll show like a... Unless they changed it. It'll... Sometimes you could put like a dog there, flying with your, your dog. Your next adventure. It's 
maybe your co-pilots just put you off for the for the week. <laughs> anyway, well, hopefully everybody's having a good day today. At least uh, one more day to Friday. Can't believe we're in the middle of October already. A couple more weeks to Halloween. Make sure you get your candy. Go to the store and get your get your candy on. I bet you Bex will wait for, for after Halloween movie to be a chocolate sale. <laughs> they gotta get rid of all the all the chocolate they didn't sell for Halloween. Yeah, look at that view out the back. Oh, I gotta get a picture, don't I? I almost forgot about that. See, I get get to thinking about other things, and I forget my my duties as a pilot here to get a picture for the flight for today. Oh, kind of like that already. Ooh, that is pretty good. Oop. See, I ruined it. Yeah, I like that right there. Keep default. Yep. Why it always does that. There we go. We got the picture. Ooh, ooh, uh, wait a second. Some little art artsy there. I can't just find that. Oh there we go. Perfect. Right there. There we go. We got our artsy shot now, too. All right. Let's see how much farther we got to go. 7.3 to our... Should be able to see that little runway here coming up. A little airstrip. Oh, I was going to dial in... Uh, Where's my uh, nav menu? We gotta dial in that Vortac. Uh, nav one frequency. Uh, what was it? One. One one four. One one four. Oops. Back 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 space. Wrong button, Clyde. Four, four. Uh, what was that again? And you now have one. Okay, perfect. So that should be the active one. All right, there we go. All right, let me get back to get to the chat. Chat is not very chatty. So yeah, I think once we get uh, past Oklahoma City, I think. Then, then we should have we should have a very more a much clearer direct route uh, of Route 66 that we can follow. It's it's a lot more difficult to do it on the through here because there's there's multiple ways that it was um, that it was laid out. So but I do highly recommend if you want to know more about Route 66 and you don't want to click on that link because you can't be bothered do go check out uh, Viper Strike 
me uh, give him a shout out. He does, he's doing a lot of uh, background work on, uh, he does PowerPoint presentations pretty much um, well, for Route 66. So if you want to watch him and sit back and be educated, there you go. Viper Strike is your, is your flight simmer for Route 66 knowledge. Yeah, he has whole PowerPoint presentations that he does a lot of prep work for. If you haven't followed him, do give him a follow. He also does some scenic flights as well every once in a while. Uh, does like city tours and stuff like that. So yeah, good stuff. That looks like our... Is that it right there? further we got to go. So we should be able to spot this little airstrip here coming up. Yeah, he's the, the resident researcher for Two-Tone Murphy's group of flyers see so, yeah, always a good 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 group of people it's nice to see captain Arish stream last night he played matter of fact that game we were talking about the other day Mick uh, stray captain Arish was on there last night uh, got through one of the chapters, I think, before, uh, all right, so it's saying it's right here. So this must be it, uh, looks like right there, maybe? Huh. That looks kind of like a landing strip right there. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Uh, that's a pretty interesting game. Uh, you know, it's got some puzzle solving things and stuff like that. Um, so, we're going to need to go on a heading of 226. So, yeah, if, if you want to check that, uh, it, I would highly recommend it. Check it out once just to see how it goes. And, uh, you know, some people may enjoy that game. Uh, but yeah, it's, there's a lot of puzzle solving, and you got to run around and meet people and get um, find stuff and all that. So it's that's yeah, a lot of exploring. Yeah, there's a little airstrip. So I'm guessing Route 66 is probably right here. I don't think it's right there, but it, I would imagine it's right there. It probably used to run through here before this part was built. I'm guessing. Yeah, it was good to see him streaming again. He may be on tomorrow or Saturday. He's got to contact Allison to see. They're going to. So they made it basically to where. Amelia Earhart and Fred uh, Noonan were supposed to land but got lost or whatever happened to them um, so now they're going to go on to the next leg yeah it is uh, but uh, so they're going to go on to the next leg but he's got to get in contact with Allison to, to plan that out for um, for their next uh next stream or two so yeah they're good good on them for for actually making it to the island where they were supposed to land so it's like picking a needle out of the haystack trying to find that landing strip Why is 
my nav radio show. All right, hold on a second. Okay, now it should be the active frequency. Huh. That's interesting. Like, our systems don't seem to be working correctly today. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, well. Hello, DJ Nightmare. How are you? We're just cruising along here in the Kit Fox. We just took off from uh, Joplin, Missouri. We're heading to Tulsa. Here on the Route 66 uh, tour from FS Hub. So we got we're on our second leg. We just flew over an older airstrip that was called uh, Route 66 trip or something like that. Back there behind us. So we're on our way to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, 52 nautical miles and uh, we'll be done we're just kind of cruising along here in the sunrise here in this nice little kit fox a lot of farmland here I'd have to wonder what what kind of crops do they grow. I'm guessing it's all seasonal because during the winter time, winters here are pretty harsh. So I would think um, they uh, it's all seasonal stuff. But yeah, a lot of huge farm areas here. I mean, look at look at the size of that right there. I mean that look. Must be a pretty productive field for that size. And there's another large one right next across the road there. I wonder if this farm owns both. That's a lot of work. So yeah, we're just cruising along here. Just having a nice relaxing Thursday morning flight. If you want, if if you're interested in this sort of stuff, uh, should do the. Uh, I think, nope. Have to find it. Oh, it's just FS Hub. Okay. There we go. Um. Yeah. Do check them out. You don't have to join an airline like uh, the uh, Firefly airline that I belong to, the virtual airline. You can just create an account and just uh, do all the stuff. Um, if you're on the Xbox, you have to do manual. Well, we'll see. If you're not a part of an airline, I don't know if you'll get credit for the stuff. But you can at least you can find the routes and do do stuff and you know kind of come up with something different to do on, in uh, flight sim. So yeah, it's a good resource for that for sure. Um, yeah, good stuff. If you're on the PC, you can connect. You can link your account, and then if you do whatever flights you do, it automatically, it should, in theory, automatically update, and then you can, it'll track it on the website for you, so you can get achievements and stuff like that. So this is something different for uh, Flight Sim. But they have a lot of stuff like this. Uh, Mm, excuse me, they have one that uh, you can follow the uh, Orient Express. Um, what else? Um, they have all kinds of stuff. Yeah, do check them out. Doesn't cost anything to join. Just you create an account. And like I said, if you're on the PC, you link that uh, 
link the two together and whatever flights you do it'll give you it'll it'll show what you did and where you took off from and where you landed at and the route that you took all that kind of stuff I believe nice quiet morning here over in the Midwest. Oh, I do want to thank, um, because I talked about this in Nick's stream last night, although, because I got an email or notification on Twitch about it, but, so Twitch has changed their, um, threshold for payment from $100 to 50 so if you're already over 50 they'll cut you a check of some kind, I don't know how much, you know, minus taxes or whatever, um, but thank you everybody for the support, greatly appreciate it, we'll, uh, We'll put that money aside for um, aircraft if there's something. Now, we get an update today. Um, but if there's anything that comes out today, I can put it on my wish list and hold off until I get that money and then use that money to purchase it. So so thank you, everybody, for the support, the, the bits and the uh, subscriptions and everything. So it's it's made a difference. And I didn't expect that, but they I think they were, had talked about it, and I just forgot about it but um yeah so thank you everybody appreciate it so that does help the channel out So even if you can't afford to, to subscribe or whatever, your your um, your presence is still appreciated. I want you to think that you are obligated in any way. If you can, it's greatly appreciated. But understand that times are always tough here and there. If you can't do it, it's not a problem. But you understand. humid here we had a little bit of a bit of rain this morning now it's like got all humid Oof. that's a great thing about this plane I mean you have really good views outside these windows you don't always have to be outside I mean, if you think about it I, it would be fantastic I mean if you got your private pilot's license right and you, you do like you know like they kind of show here this camping gear and uh, you know you just fly around land at these little bush strips or whatever find places to go throw up the tent you know there you go that would be kind of quite an interesting way to live I guess if you had the means to do so. I mean, AV fuel is pretty expensive, but you've got the means, you got the time, why not?
I think these, in real life, I think these have an autopilot system. I might be wrong, but if they did, you know, you just set your course and sit back and have some coffee or a quick bite to eat. doesn't want to work. All right, that's fine. I can scroll down, but it doesn't want to. Oh, well, that's all right. Something's wrong with these avionics. This is the first time I've been in this plane in quite some time. 40... Are we moving or does it freeze again? I think it froze again. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right with this thing. Oh well, we'll we'll make it there. You can always what we can do is look for Ktol in this list. Once we once we're closer, it should pop up. But we'll we'll fly a little bit longer and and then have a look. Yeah, but my, my avionics are... The, the, um... It's not even showing up the nearest, uh... Huh. Yeah, something's not right. Now it's going. Now it updated. Oh, okay, let's zoom out again then. Alright, now it's moving. Alright, that's kind of weird. Hmm. I don't know if that's an issue because we got the NXI now or. The G1000 NXI and some of the other aircraft, if this is conflicting with it, because it's an older Garmin system, or well, not older, it's just different than, than the G1000. Okay, so 35 nautical miles. All right, we'll just leave that right where it is. We won't keep messing with the, the avionic screen there. Oh, let's see what other what other fun stuff do we got going on. Um, yeah, I think for the next couple weeks we've got some good flights, good, uh, good things to do. And we'll be in November before we know it. Can't believe the year's just about over. It's amazing. I don't know where the time's gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, it probably. Um, let's just say on um, um, probably during the flight from Frankfurt to uh, I don't remember the name of the airport there in Romania, but 
I probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. For uh, Halloween Eve, we're going to talk a little bit about Top Gun Maverick. Try not to put any spoilers in. Just some observations, that's all. I'll try to keep it spoiler free for those who haven't seen it yet. But I do recommend watching it. At least once. If you can. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a little discussion about that. But we'll try to keep the... Uh, the um, we'll keep the sp try to keep the spoilers out of it as best as possible. Okay, now the now it's frozen again. Something's not right with this thing today. And I didn't even do nothing. I just changed the the heading. That was it. Alright, well. <laughs> I don't know, this thing is kind of touchy today. I don't get it, but. We may have to come up with it. We may just have to do the Cessna 152 on Saturday. Or something. Or the, um... We'll have to come up with something else, because this might be... There might be a bug or something with the... With the, with the uh... With the system. But it, it just may be something I did that... For whatever reason, it's not wanting to, it's not working properly, but I don't know. I'll have to test it out again. I mean, I'll probably have to hand, I'll probably hand fly it for a bit and then, but see, that's going to be kind of difficult. Mm. Um, no, I don't think it's that. It's just the the problem is Joseph that when when stuff gets introduced into the sim, like they they put like so we've got a different style of the Garmin navigation thing and some of the other planes. So it may be that this version of the Garmin and the new the other version are conflicting. But it's hard to tell. It just may be a one off that you know. For whatever reason, it's just acting up today, and I may test it again later, and it's it's fine. You just never know. That's the tricky part. But I mean, I can I can get by on the you know the plan. You know what I've come up with, kind of for for Saturday's flight along the uh, Montana Glacier Parks uh, or Glacier Park. You know, it should be fine. It's just that sometimes it's nice to be able to keep you know keep the altitude going and you know keep the plane level while i can talk but other, otherwise i can't really i have to look to my left because i move my laptop to my left side instead of my right it's not within my line of sight 
So it's hard to keep an eye on when I'm flying and, and look at the chat back and forth, you know, and especially if we're flying in a scenic area where there's mountains and stuff and, you know, you can make an, one mistake and you're in the mountain and then that's pretty much it. So, um, no, I don't, I don't think it's broken. I just think that it's just having some issues for some reason. But they don't, none of the issues make sense. That's the tricky part about the sim. You just never know when when it's going to, something like this is going to happen. But it could just be a one-off. You just don't know. So I think tomorrow afternoon sometime, uh, I'll have to get this out again and, and test it for uh, Saturday's flight. Make sure that there are no issues and then um, go from there. So I apologize. There are going to be some ads. If you're not seeing them already it does keep the lights on and helps pay for newer planes if and when something comes out that seems like it would be a good fit for the channel Yep, there they go. The ads are inbound. I don't know, from in here, I don't think, is there like a yellow? No, there's not. There's nothing I can discern. I don't think there is. Nope. Just seemed like this corner over here is uh, kind of yellowish instead of like an OD green, hollow drab or whatever. Hmm. All right, let's see where we're at now. 26 nautical miles. Yeah, that's a nice relaxing little flight here across the Midwest. And westward ever so slightly each flight to get to uh, Santa Monica where the uh, Route 66 ended. Santa Monica. This was the way many people traveled west. California started booming and people were looking for other opportunities. You went westward. Let's see what uh I don't know what else to talk about. Um we had story time last night in Nick's stream. Uh what else? Uh yeah, I don't know. What else to talk about? I think Amela's been lurking. Either that has uh got ready and left for work already. Got quite a few lurkers, that's all right. Don't always have to say hello. No, this cannot land on water, Joseph. No, there's no pontoons for it. They're supposed to be coming out, I think. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. They're supposed to have a pontoon version soon. It might be already out for the PC, but there will be one that 
that can take off and land on water, but no, this is not designed for that. I mean, I could land it on water. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the right kind of plane to do it on water. But <laughs> if we had a crash landing on water, I guess that's acceptable in some cases. But no, it's not designed to, to land or take off from water. So whatever one comes out, the wheels here will be replaced by pontoons. And, and the, uh, probably this area right here will be changed a bit uh, for the pontoons, but no. Uh, but I think there's supposed to be one coming out that that uh, pretty soon, I think. And no, well, you, in theory, well, this one's kind of slow by nature, but. It, the faster one you could in theory do some stunts with it but I don't think it's it's not necessarily built for that um, it's supposed you know it's mainly for for these you know taking off and landing in very small airfields um, going places that you know some other planes might not be able to get to but it's only it's limited by fourteen thousand feet. That's as high it can, as it can go, not less the people inside here have a have uh, oxygen to, so that they can continue to breathe appropriately. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's a bush plane. You could take this up to Alaska and find small strips and just. Take off from one strip, fly around, land in another one, take off from there, and go around. You know, it's like it's supposed to be like for an adventure kind of thing. But if there is a pontoon version, it would still qualify as a kind of an adventure type plane. Um, Twenty. Let's see. Did it freeze again? It did, didn't it? What is going on? Why is it? it I didn't even do anything. I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense. Something tells me this thing is going to crash on me. The game is going to crash. Froze again. Okay. What's the map? Will that unlock it? Okay, it says 16. Nope, still frozen. Come on, folks. I'll, I'll look at the chat here again in just a moment. I'm trying to see if I can get this to. Something's not right with this thing today. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't like working on Thursdays. Must think it's Friday and deserves a day off. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see here. Let's see, I think we're, we should be just almost close enough that we can call in and No, not yet. I don't see it on the list. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to step away for just a moment, folks. I will be right back. I'll leave the, uh, we'll leave it outside here so you can enjoy some of this lovely Midwest scenery. Yeah, here we go. I love it. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Let's uh, check our list again. See, see where we're at. Oh wow! How did that happen? Did I do that? Uh, I probably did. Yeah. See, that's the tricky part. If you if you use any of the buttons, it automatically it's still tied to your throttle. Thanks, Joseph. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. You end up speeding up, and you don't even mean to. But anyway, all right, let's have a look. Here. We'll just look for that on the list, and then we'll call in when we're when we're ready to go in. All right. Yeah, something's definitely not right. I don't know. I kind of feel like we should be seeing KTOL here in a, uh, Tulsa's airport. I almost feel like that's it up ahead. I see look, runway lights, I think. Could be wrong. lot of little small airfields here a lot of little f farming airstrips for agricultural stuff hmm I kind of feel like it's coming up we can't be that far off from it wasn't the airport. We've got to be getting close. <clears throat> hmm.
Oop, thank you, Mick. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I thought I, I think I took a swig of water real quick and forgot to unmute myself. So we'll be back uh, 710 Eastern, 1110 UTC, 1210 UK tomorrow in the A319 nonstop service from Monterey Peninsula Airport to LAX. So do join us for that. Looking forward to that flight. Should be a lot of fun. Shouldn't take very long to do. And, uh, yeah. It's been... I don't know what's happened with the plane today. It's just not... The air, air avionics are just like a hot mess. I don't, I don't know what happened, but... I mean, I guess I could turn them off and turn them back on again, but... I don't know if that would do anything. But, oh well. So Mick, I think you you said you and Chris are doing the uh, Sniper Elite tonight. Looking forward to that. See how many times Chris gives you up in the bush. <laughs> Alerts the bad guys to your presence. <laughs> uh. He's over there, guys. He's over there. And he sneaks off, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, looking forward to that. Young Audis. I don't know when you're going to stream again. I know you were tinkering around and wanting to tinker around and uh, need for speed. I don't know if you're going to stream that. You haven't streamed in a while. Mix 10,000 uh, viewers are asking when you're going to be out again, up and streaming again, Joseph. At least that's the rumor I heard. Tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow, what time tomorrow? Because if it's going to be like at O Dark 30, my time, chances are. I'm going to miss it because I'm probably going to try to be sleeping. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, all the above. <laughs> None of the above. Here we are coming into Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Might be two streams tomorrow. Oh my goodness, Joseph. That might be a bit much. I don't think anybody, not everybody can handle that much Addies. <laughs> That's a lot of Addies to take in. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. Well, I'll probably skip. The, I'll probably won't be there for the morning one. Afternoon, I'll probably be flying, so I don't know. Well, I don't. It depends on what time you're talking about. But two streams of here's Joseph. <laughs> I'll try to be there. Boy, the way that the prop is spinning it got this. Oh, don't worry about my time. I'm just I was asking you what time, that's all. I you know you don't have to, don't don't put your schedule according to me. No, don't do that. Please don't. That's I no. Just, if you're going to stream, just stream. It's fine. I'll be there if I can. If not, I'll catch it up later. It's all good. I'll try to have you on in, in the background if I can. But don't, don't, don't adjust your stuff to me, okay? Please don't. It's not, I'm not that important, okay? <laughs> I don't want, I don't want anybody to change. If you got, if you want to stream, just stream, Joseph. It's fine. I would never tell you to not stream and 
you know, if you want to stream, do your thing. It's all good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I would never ask anybody to hold off streaming or whatever. You know, if, if it conflict, if it, I, I don't, a lot of my plans are, are easily changeable, you know. Like if you, you wanted to stream and I was like, you know, I'll set this one out, it would be perfectly fine. But don't, no, don't, don't ever, don't ever think that you got to change for me, okay? I wouldn't ask you to do that. I am not that not that it's special. Yep. Exactly. I don't want anybody to think that I have that kind of uh, what do you call it? Um, I'm not that important. <laughs> and I don't think I ever want to be that important. You know, if you're if you're gonna stream, just stream. It's it's fine. People will be there if they can, and if not, they'll they'll try to catch it up on the replay. You know? I mean, I'd always like Mick to be in the chat, but you know, he can't always do that, and he'll watch the replay on YouTube when he can. If not, it's it's no harm, no foul. He's still my friend. He's still my brother across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> so no, don't don't ever think you gotta do anything on your schedule on my account. All right, here we go. Let's try to land here, and then we'll wrap things up before it gets all tender in the chat. <laughs> Addie's has to reach for the box of tissues and. Puts on the Hallmark Channel. Ooh, big bump. Ooh, that was a little bit harder than when I wanted it to be. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. come on, plane, settle down. All right, there we go. Just turn right here. Ooh. Well, on behalf of myself and the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Local time is 7.35 in the morning. We understand and appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, it's Thursday. It's for halfway through October. We don't quite understand where the time went, but it went somewhere. We're glad you spent some of it with us. Do join us tomorrow, 710 Eastern, 1110 UTC, 1210 UK. Airbus A320, or A319, not 320, the 19. A319, heading from Monterey Peninsula Airport. To Los Angeles non-stop service bring your own beverages bring your own snacks it'll be a non-service flight oh thanks Joseph it was all right it's been a while since I've flown in this so I probably throttled back and it was just I wasn't close enough to the runway before I throttled back so I, I should have waited a little bit longer. we had plenty of runway to work with so it's all good yeah, should be a nice flight tomorrow. We'll do the live weather just to see what happens, but we, we'll change the time so we have a nice morning flight. I do like those, you know, the sunrise and, you know, it's just nice and relaxing. You know, a little soft jazz on in the background while I fly, you know. <laughs> Mick, can kick, uh, Mick will put on his heavy metal. <laughs> And uh, have his latte and sandwich. 
every once in a while he might break out his notebook just to take a few notes you never know Could have been better, could have been worse. Could have went face first into the runway and that would have been it. And I'd be dancing to the music. Oh, okay. Might be a little too much information there, Addies. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. What you do <laughs> what you do in your own time is your business. <laughs> if this would be a cheaper option I mean I don't know how far Oklahoma City itself is from here but maybe uh, you fly in here for a lower price on your airline ticket and then drive get a rental car and drive to Oklahoma City if, if you were traveling along this way because I know like if I fly to California for instance to the Bay Area I can it's usually cheaper for me to fly into Oakland versus San Francisco but uh, well Oakland's probably a little easier to navigate now SFO when I've been through there recently I don't even recognize it anymore it's just yeah, it's changed so much it's it's hard to, to recognize come on plane any other time you just want to you got to get up and go now you got the you got the laziness off 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 uh, I think I got a where's the fuel there we go there it is all right let me just update this real quick in FS Hub, and we will wrap things up for the day. Submit my stuff here. Maybe just a moment, folks, and we'll do a proper goodbye. I apologize. A couple days ago, I had a phone call that I had to take, trying to get some appointments set up for for my. Uh, VA stuff, veteran stuff, and uh, it uh, they were calling me to set up the appointment, and I've been trying to get in touch with them. We were playing phone tag, so I had to get on there and get, get that set up, so I didn't get a chance to say a proper adios that day, so I apologize. Where is it? I know I saw it before. Mm. I know I saw it. It said Fox. Oh, I just saw it. There it is. All right, almost there, folks. Give me just a moment. Uh...
11.20. We got there at 12.32. Oh, no, that's the wrong spot. Okay, toll. 12.32. All right, there we go. Submit. All right. Ta-da. All right. So that's going to do it for today, folks. Do a great... Uh, can't even talk now. I'm pulling a pair like the pair was last night. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming in, hanging out today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's flight. I will see you all tomorrow morning at the usual time, 7.10 Eastern, 11.10 UTC, 12.10 UK. Do enjoy the rest of your Thursday morning, afternoon, evening, early Friday, possibly, maybe, who knows? Uh, and um, until then, peace, live long and prosper. Oh, I almost forgot. I have been and always shall be your host and pilot, Uncle B. Until tomorrow, peace, live long and prosper.